Hello Cancers, it is AD with Chaos Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading. Okay, so this is going to be from April 29th to May 6th, alright? And so you guys, my water signs get Mondays now that I'm on a weekly schedule. So every Monday you can, for the most part, expect to see some type of posting from me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the description box um, below on information on how to book a personal reading with me. Also, my Instagram. Uh, please follow me there, guys. And, yeah, so you can see what's going on, I guess, my life-wise, if that interests you. <laughs> but let's get into y'all's shaking and I was like mm. Mm. looks like there's certainly return coming cancer maybe one that you're not exactly that enthused about but it looks like it's coming <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed our production design guys all right shout out to tapestries <laughs> I wanted something colorful. I'm, I'm obviously going to keep expanding. I'm looking into new cameras and all the other stuff. So just send positive vibes, prayers, get the personal readings so I can continue to, you know, grow and like make it look nicer and up the quality. Because um, that is my next focus. Two and one. All right. All right. Let's see what's going on for our cancer. It's pretty... Yeah, so the underlying energy we have is the magician. I think that it's worth pointing out, yeah, that it's the queen of swords. And, you know, I'm going to keep going, the three of cups, too. So there seems to be a decision that's going to have to be made about something that you possibly manifested, all right? Something that you wanted, I think, is going to come back around to you, and you're going to have to use your your logic to kind of um, sift through it. But let's see the rest of the spread um, to see if we can get more insight. Yeah, <laughs> Literally something that you manifested, something that you wish for, okay? Wishes are going to be granted. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Yeah, literally that genie's coming out and granting you all types of wishes. So, really powerful moment. Be careful with your thoughts. The thing about with great treasures come great responsibilities, all right? The responsibility when you're in the power of manifestation is remaining positive and not putting bad frequencies out because that's just as powerful sometimes if not more powerful than positive energy as far as like on short term on a short term basis basis if that makes sense yeah oh look we of fortune cancer coming up as the foundation oh my gosh the knight of pinnacles your present moment interesting because we are now officially in Taurus season welcome to Taurus season guys so not surprised to see that energy here um, most likely outcome being your energy, the chariot. I love this. Woof. I love this friend. And of course, of course, of course, without a doubt, you're doubting it. <laughs> of course, Cancer, it's too good to be true. Of course, it's not good enough. All right. So, yeah, I mean, this is kind of self-explanatory, particularly in stability long-term goals this is long-term wish fulfillment that's coming in for you guys so with that underlying energy here being the magician card um that you have all the tools in the toolbox in order for you to be successful and kind of get yourself to that next level right so you have the experiences you have the pinnacles you have the resources you have the thought all right as you always do in any journey that we have you can be like but av i don't have the money right you might not have the money all right it might not all you want to do is realize that you have it and manifest it into your life, right? But you have the capability of doing that. So wherever you point your direction, all right, you will be able to be equipped to achieve whatever you want to achieve. I saw, like, this really interesting interview. It was a Joe Rogan experience. Obviously, I have no affiliation with him or that show. So this is just something. And I can't remember who it was I was saying it. But they were just, like, the thing about a negative attitude, um... It's like, or a positive attitude is either way you're right. If you look at something and you have a positive attitude and you're like, you know, it's impossible that I'm going to get this done, but I remain faithful. I keep pushing. I keep doing it. I will succeed. You're right. If you look at the same situation and go, you know what? I don't have the resources. This is a pipe dream. I won't be able to succeed. You know, it's never going to work out. You're right. So that is the that is the message of you know of this. It's like you're right. You're right either way. If you think that you can do it and you can achieve the impossible, 
then you're right. If you think that it is impossible, you're also correct. So pick which side of the fence that you want to be on, Cancer, because it seems like that's where you are in this moment. But it looks like universe is going to be coming over and taking over and granting you those wishes with this Nine of Cups here. So really awesome, positive, positive energy. A lot of yellow coming through, um, which is like extreme happiness to me it's my favorite color right now just because you know it just represents sunshine and oneness <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful color guys um you can look look it up look up color theory you know and all the other stuff not necessarily color theory but like color meanings i guess um it's a pretty fascinating form for me and uh, as many of you know if you follow me on instagram i do my own art and a lot of the art and the colors that i pick have to do with like the meanings behind them so it's a really interesting thing to get into like if you ever want to expand past astrology and all the other stuff so that's a side note <laughs> but yeah it's there guys so a lot of yellow coming through a lot of brightness looking forward to the future moving fast like moving quickly guys even down to the chariot all right so you're going to be powering down to your destiny and your destiny of like good fortune okay and this is something that right now you're being very strategic okay with the knight of pentacles that taurus energy taurus virgo capricorn energy um perhaps if you were in a relationship or if you were involved with somebody in the past that was a taurus virgo capricorn had earth somewhere in their chart that relationship can change um if this is a love reading for you guys but for a lot of you this is just you focus you've hunkered down on your goals on your plan and you might be moving slowly right at this point but you're moving deliberately i don't see it moving so slow anymore i see it kind of picking up speed as may goes on um, obviously like this is just a glimpse into this week so for this week guys if this is like if you're putting out your resume if you're looking for jobs if you're looking for locations houses those type of things it's like you could honestly stumble upon your dream whatever it's gonna seem like it's too good to be true but you know act quickly get moving on it don't spend too much time in your head doubting it thinking that it's it's not going to work out because um, you're going to be granted some some sort of long long term. All right. Again, this isn't a whim with this pinnacles here. This is something that you've wanted for an extended period of time. So you're going to be granted some long term wish. All right. And it's really going to put you onto a divine path. Um, it's going to be fortunate. It's going to be lucky. You know, you're headed towards abundance. The only thing is you got to get out of your head, cancer. All right. <laughs> you got to get out your head. You got to believe. You got to have faith gotta have faith i feel like i sing that song all the time but rest in peace george michael a fellow cancer guys he was a cancer and let me tell you something about george michael as beautiful as george michael is and as talented as he is he thought that he could sing that is the definition of this card george michael of all people thought that he could not sing but yeah you're george michael i don't understand only a cancer right so <laughs> get out of that don't be george michael rest may he rest in peace i love him I love his music. I loved his energy. So, yeah. But <laughs> you guys got to get out of your head. Just believe it. All right? Own it. Don't be so humble to the point where it faults you. Again, I have this conversation all the time with my Virgo viewers. I'm like, don't do that. I can say the same thing to cancers. Don't do that. <laughs> no. Do something else. Paint. Draw. Sing. I don't know. Do math. I don't know. But, like, when you start getting into your head about things and you start kind of nitpicking, all right, nitpicking your happiness... That's when you can run into issues. That's just a side note, guys, uh, for this week to be very careful about that, about your your negative thoughts and where you're placing them, how much energy you're giving into them. Because, I mean, I see nothing but positivity, baby. Like, you're really going to be on top of your game as far as, like, being able to make logical decisions, making smart decisions that are going to affect you long term in the future. Um, so this is going to be a pretty big week as far as... Yeah, just seeing the light at the, the tunnel, guys. That's really what I see for you. So let's see what we can get from your um, oracle for the week. <gasps> All right, not for you. So this came out pretty um, solid, and that might go back to what I was saying as far as, like, if it's, if it's a past relationship that's coming back is really what I'm getting with that. Um, and again, that's why I said there's a, there's a level of discernment that's coming in. It's something that you could have wanted in the past that's coming back. Um, 
if it's from your past, you really literally might not be able to bring it with you into the future because you're on a different level and playing field. Like you're literally leveling, leveling up. So some things uh, inevitably are going to get left behind, you know, with the chariot. Look, look at all this he's leaving behind. I'm sure his little best friend's back here and this little house hut, you know what I'm saying? But he had to go to war. He's like, I'm ready for the next chapter. I'm ready to be superstar. I'm ready to continue traveling. So I had to leave, you know, grandma, Graham's over here with her cookies, you know. she He had to turn his back on that and start moving forward. So some of you guys are going to be wrestling with that. And as sentimental as cancers can be, okay, guys? I know it feels like I've been shading y'all all reading, but I am a cancer rising. <laughs> so if anybody understands, is me, is me. But, like, there's, like, a sentimental value that you have to these people, particularly if you were in a position where you had to forgive them. Like, if you had to forgive somebody um, and you had to work work to that and like you want to forgive them wholly so much so to the point where like you can accept them back to the life so accept them back into your life as awesome as that sounds cancer i don't think that you're going to be able to pull it off just because that hurt is going to be there i don't think that you'll ever fully be able to shed some of these swords and i don't mean that in like a negative way it's particularly with this person i think that you can fall in love with somebody else somebody new somebody somebody golden all right somebody blue but whatever it is that is kind of coming back it's more of an opportunity for closure than it is for moving forward, all right? So just remember that. Um, this is, again, this is an opportunity for closure to remain balanced, all right? Because here we have the six up here, and six represents harmony and balance. And so, like, whatever it is that's not for you, whatever it is that you're leaving behind is going to bring you balance. So if you're in some type of crazy relationship with somebody um, and they come back... It's gonna be just it's gonna be crazy. Like it might be cool for a little bit and then you're gonna be like, Oh shit. I completely lost my peace of mind here. I was so happy minding my own business. Oh man. <laughs> Hold on guys, sorry. We had like fifty thousand cards come through. All right, so, but, you know, they all make sense. So I'll come out, I'll, I'll take them in the bunches that they kind of came in. So we had Go the Distance. Oof, my hair, guys, sorry. <laughs> Building Blocks and Co-Create. So some of you guys, if you do some type of creative work or some of you guys are going to be moving um, for a part of your career, perhaps, but it's something where I, I imagine that it has some sort of creativity to it. Or you're going to be in a place that's creative. You're going to be in a place that's open. A place where you can meet people, um, network, and kind of start to flesh out some ideas that you've had for a while. But it's going to be, it's not going to be where you've been. Right? So there is movement again here with the chariot card. So movement is still symbolized here. So a lot of you guys are probably going to be moving. That's probably what the not for you is because you have to leave stuff behind. Um, but this is going to be vital vital for your next step and next phase in life if you're hesitating on moving, guys. Um, yeah, and then the second batch we had is here and now, excuse me, here and now, serendipity, and soulmates. So this to me is like a combination of perfect timing as far as going to pursue, um, that next chapter, next phase in your life, in your life cycle, um. And it, and it can easily involve somebody else. So some of you guys, that's what I was trying to say. I'm sorry, guys. I got kind of lost because I wanted to say this. For some of you guys, I did get some sort of love or emotional feeling. Um, it didn't come up in the reading particularly because there's just going to be growth in other places, particularly um, in your finances and your career with the Knight of Pentacles showing up there. So there's going to be heavy emphasis as far as like your home, building your home, your resources, how you share your resources, how you spend your resources, how you get your resources, that type of energy. But for some of you guys, I was sensing there is a romantic element to it. Again, this could you could be dealing with an earth sign. But in this moment in time... Through this shift, evolution, change, luck, whatever, cycle, whatever it is that you want to call it, um, pay attention to those signs with serendipity here and here and now. Stay stay present because you could be coming into contact with a soulmate. Um, and this can come, again, with the co-create card. This can be people that you work with. This can be a tribe of people that you work with. Even though the tribe card isn't here, um, you can find one person in particular who you just really are able to kind of um, bounce ideas off of. They're like a collaborator um in a way and they're really going to be able to help you kind of push yourself 
um, to make new things and challenge, excuse me, challenge yourself. All right, so the last two cards that we have is to the sea and orphaned. And this is exactly, wow, a lot of you guys are totally moving. <laughs> and I know one cancer in particular who's actually moving. So this is really funny because some of you guys are really packing up your shit and hitting the road, Jack. Um, and like, again, very sentimental. There's a lot of things that you feel like you're going to be leaving behind. But remember to stay in the present. This is going to be one of the most positive changes and moves of your life, darling. Like, really, it's going to be filled with happiness. You're going to come into contact with the people that you want to to meet, the people that you've been dreaming about. Again, the things that you've been manifesting. Like, I almost forgot, you know, that the Nine of Cups is your the heart of the reading and it just ties beautifully into this it's like as soon as you let go as soon as you just release you know the anxieties and the fears that you have and you walk into this next cycle confidently and bearing it all all right um it's really going to be a, such a lucky time for you and your finances resources your home your security and just long-term relationships long-term commitments long-term contracts i mean it's really really on your side so just make sure that you remain humble and grateful cancer in this beautiful beautiful cycle all right so that's what i got for you cancer please don't forget to check out that description box on information how to book a personal reading with me if you'd like to expand on this you know perhaps whatever you know where to call me beat me if you want to reach me and yeah like share and subscribe guys peace until next time thank you so much